Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We've had a great day. Today we are at the, the GMC location here in Detroit for the massive events happening for the, the North American International Auto Show. I have really big news about our Hummer EV coming in. Now, if you've been watching the content lately, you know that after all these years, I finally got the call from the dealership saying, hey, Austin, it's time to lock in your order, the build. So today, we're gonna get a cool look at some of the new options uh, for 2023 and four coming up with the colors available and the 3X different versions on the table. I locked in our spec, it's officially gonna be on on the way hitting production there's a few caveats to the order i want to talk about today i'm a bit bummed about them however i think what we're doing our build is going to be really exciting first let's check out the hummer ev behind me and go through what we got check it out guys we have a white hummer ev right here in front of us this is looking very good under the direct lighting still to this day when i see the hummer ev i think it looks like one of the most impressive vehicles on the road especially for being a truck nothing quite looks like this there's a reason why a lot of the major video games coming out are uh, asking GMC to be able to license their vehicle for the game. I'm seeing this in, in Call of Duty, also uh, tons of other feature video games, and it's because this styling, it reminds us of, let's say, a sci-fi, of like a space truck. It's designed to go off of the Lunar Rover, which is why for the interior, you have that Lunar Horizon uh, space theme finished all throughout. I think still to this day, seeing all the lunar themed accents is really fun to try to spot out and show different people whenever I uh, check out the truck in person. So my build for the Hummer EV has been locked in as the 3X edition, and uh, we're not gonna be getting the standard white color that you find on the first edition. Instead, to my right, we actually have a cool first look of all the different uh, colors available for the color palette itself. Now, if you watched our uh, ordering video, you know that we kind of looked into different options that we had that were new, specifically like the Tide Metallic, the Neptune Blue Matte, even the Supernova Metallic itself. I don't see the new Omega paint color. It is a special one-off theme. It does cost an extra 20 plus thousand dollars from what I recall out of the ordering spec list. So I did not actually uh, get that. I ended up ordering the Afterburner Orange Paint which is gonna be, uh, I, I think, a unique spin on everything, and it's gonna match our garage of all the orange performance cars coming in, right? I just feel like having the opportunity to go after a bold color, this is the most bold color on the board. What color stands out to your eye the most? That one right there to my left. So that is the reason why I ended up ordering it. I do think Deep Aurora Metallic is unique. Hopefully it's coming off uh, well on camera. It might not which is uh, as expected. Even Moonshot Green Matte, seeing that on the uh, SUV version of the Hummer EV, I am a big fan of it. We did join GMC for the first drive of the uh, Hummer EV SUV variant. As I was mentioning earlier though, inspired off a of lunar rover, you can see the topography from the moon to show off the design themes of this vehicle. I guess, uh, technically speaking, you could probably drive this on, on the moon because you don't need the air for the internal combustion engines of standard SUVs or off-roaders. So the theme works perfectly with this vehicle. I just feel like coming from the, uh, the Ford Raptor R, this is gonna be a crazy change of pace and yeah, it, it does look very exotic-like in comparison to any other truck on the road. What do you think about the SUV version compared to the pickup? I think this is gonna be uh, selling pretty well. I think everything is sold out for the Hummer EVs. This one does have the lunar shadow interior, which comes with a dark green, almost gray color combination. It extends all the way throughout the interior, so you don't have any more of the white. A lot of owners are telling me that they prefer this color combination because it looks really good uh, with all the bronze accents on the sides. Let me know your thoughts. For the finish spec, though, I did not get the bronze. I ended up getting the uh, Horizon white with all the uh, OEM bronze accents in the interior to match our exterior. To do that, I did opt for the off-road package 
that has the uh, bronze orange accents for the wheels and the badging itself. So on the side, the Hummer EV badging on our build will be orange. Pretty crazy. I'll put a screenshot on the screen right now of the finished product and it is gonna be the pickup variant. My intent with, with trying to get this vehicle, getting in the order all the way up to now is just to try to find out what is the electric vehicle experience like for a 1,000 horsepower pickup truck? Specifically, how it will fare for the use cases that we would put it through. Uh, running it pretty hard, going through all the energy over and over again, uh, trailering the race car to the track, that, that kind of stuff. I, I don't know how it's going to be for a long distance uh, trailing to the track like Coda and other places that might be difficult. I intend to find out how it does stack up and if it's going to be worth $120,000 for a, a pickup truck. They're selling pretty well and I guess we're going to see if they're worth the price here in 2024 coming up. One big difference you will get with the SUV variant versus a pickup, uh, especially is towards the rear end with this uh, attached spare tire and wheel. I, I'm a big fan of all the H's everywhere to signify Hummer. <laughs> it's, it's a good touch and the, the amount of Easter eggs that they implemented into this product design is very impressive. Okay, here's the deal. I did find out there were a few caveats with our order. Um, I could not order the extended range uh, 24 pack module, I believe it was. We had to stick with the standard 20 pack module. A horsepower will still be the same, but we do lose about, I think, 40 to 50 miles of range. It's still gonna be about 300 miles of range from what I understand. Uh, I hope that it's not going to be a, a big loss for us not getting the extra battery pack. It is like more money. It's $10,000 as an upgrade on the prize. So uh, at least we save $10,000. Otherwise, you would have to wait much, much longer to get the uh, 24 pack since there's a supply constraint on it. Though we are going to be experiencing a delay for the color because these newer colors are late availability. The, the available cars right now you can get are, for example, the white one behind me or the uh, Moonshot matte metallic green to my uh, right or the video's left, I guess you could say. I think overall it's going to be worth the wait because it's, our build is going to look like nothing else out there. If, if you have one on the way, please let me know uh, in the comment section down below. How did you spec it? Are you going after the bronze and, and orange build like us? Or are you going for the blacked out version? I'm very curious. I know there's so many people who have ordered this truck. One thing I want to find out is how many will they really be making in the end of the day? It's pricey. so. Uh, Valuations are always an important thing for us who put a lot of money into these super trucks or other vehicles out there. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really does help me out and subscribe for much for great content coming out your way. I'll see all of you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed my order update of the Hummer EV3X. It's really cool seeing them out here today. They're just, uh, in summary, the latest version with all the features that you found at the first edition, but evolved over a couple of years. The best Hummer EV yet.